Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got several interesting items to hit in geography, astronomy, the edge of the solar system, climate, and cosmology. And of course, we're starting as always with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find the coronal holes straddling the central longitudes. We had one M-class flare with some oomph to it, appeared to create a nice little pop south of center. Coronagraphs show no significant CME ejecta heading this way, but those coronal holes have begun to impact geospace. Overnight and into this morning, the faster stream from the open field corona hole regions is beginning to arrive at Earth. These faster streams have an initial density shockwave as particles pile up on the leading edge of the stream, and then the stream itself is fast and hot plasma. Geomagnetic conditions may elevate today as this solar wind enhancement occurs. We may get a brief break after this one, maybe not. Second coronal hole of the system is right behind the first one. It's going to be facing Earth tonight, faster stream to arrive here in about two or three days. Plasma filament looks like it's coming in behind those coronal holes as well. Let's go next to Tibet, where the water situation is becoming abundant. The roof of the world is one of the places taking on more and more water, and it's not just from precipitation, but in terms of storage. Ground is perfect for it, elucidating how dry it must have been for so long to create the more barren initial landscape. Bit of eye candy up next from James Webb, gorgeous shot of L483. But interestingly, it's hard for me to get behind the idea that it's two stars making this feature and they happen to be right next to each other. Seems much more like the cosmic jet north-south burst from a single central core to me, but either way, space is cool looking and harsh. We've known this was coming. Powering down key science instruments continues on Voyager. Folks, I believe at this point there is no more data they can collect on the galactic current sheet. They've seen the pressure shocks, fronts, and particle density waves, but that time is probably done with. All information now will come from inside the heliosphere. Up next, this is great. Now that the key definitive studies have come out and confirmed, no, the mainstream version of climate change won't kill agriculture, it helps it. They found a way to spin it into a bad thing. Bet you didn't even hear about those studies, did ya? Yeah, modern climate change, good for everything, except pollen. Oh no. Lastly, folks, end of the line. While 99% of astronomers have already given up on wimp dark matter, now the door is actually closed. Constraints are overlapping. It's over. If only they had listened to some people about a decade ago, they could have saved billions. By the way, if you haven't seen our 2018 movie, Plasma Cosmology, where we pretty much trash wimp dark matter up and down, it's worth it. That's the title, the photo icon, and it is a mind-bending 68 minutes on our universe. Folks, spring is in sight. Plan your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com. If you're not sure about dates, give us a call. With enough notice, I can get there for any of you any day. As I said yesterday, I can't tell you how many observers have gotten one-on-ones with me for hours just for showing up. Call us or just go through the website, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.